Hello and welcome. Welcome to another episode of Farmheim. Thank you everybody for being here. Uh, whether you're here with me live or catching up with me later on in the goodness gracious, what is this doing? I'm just trying to eat like crazy. Cool. Glad that's happening. <laughs> Can every like my I think I'm done eating. But yeah, at least I've eaten. Thank you everybody for being here. Um I'll figure this out apparently. Please hold. Like, there's literally no reason for that to be happening. So, great. I will figure that out. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Sorry that I'm having technical difficulties. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm being told I'm quiet, but OBS is showing me at, like, peaked. That activated again, and it shouldn't have. Anyhow, today I'm planning on working a little bit on uh, adding some chickens to Farmheim. Hooray! Um, I kind of have a plan, but first I have to tell this to stop trying to force me to eat for some reason. Um, there's a good chance I like fat-fingered key binding, but uh, that, that's about it. So, every. Captain Fossil says I sound good. Thanks for being here. How are you doing? What do you got going on? Kongville, what's going on? It's Saturday. You don't have to work today, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Hi, Adele. How are you? Thanks for being here. I got Whisper and Adele first thing. W and W. Um, hi, Abby K. Thanks for being here, even if you can only stay for a minute. In three hours. Uh, is that today? I thought that was tomorrow. Tomorrow is Brainheim. Tomorrow, guys. If you haven't seen that Kongil's got a big uh, thing planned for Brainheim, check that out tomorrow over on Kongil's channel. And Erica just streamed some Farmheim. So I recommend you guys check them out. Alright. Uh, I'm trying to work on my, my audio stuff. I, I really, really am because I wanted to be consistent across all of my the stuff that I produce. Um, I'm getting kind of frustrated that, like, I can't get it right. Um, but we'll, we'll go there. I might need to turn, like, Valheim down, but, like, all this... All the... I'm working on it. All the, um... All the stuff in my ear sounds fine. But that, it doesn't matter what it sounds like in my ear. Alright, is that better? I turned down Valheim. A lot. Like, Valheim is is turned, like, almost all the way down in, in OBS. And my microphone is turned up all the way in OBS. So, like I, like I said, I'm kind of frustrated. Because if I turn my microphone... If I turn my microphone microphone up... If I turn my microphone microphone up, I'll start peeking immediately. There. See, I turn my microphone up, and I'm not talking any louder. How's that? Uh, oh, I guess I have to talk after I say, how's that? All right, we'll get it. We'll get it. I just don't want to peek. I don't want to peek. It's so frustrating. When I'm I'm looking at my microphone in like recording in uh, audition or uh, premiere, I have a um, I have a limiter in OBS set up so you can tell when it peaks because like the the uh, the waveform goes completely flat at the top, so I can tell that it's peaking and it it's just not. It doesn't sound good. 
Um, I have kind of a largish voice. Um, and now post, post my surgery, I have access to my voice better than I did before. Um, and I'm having a hard time microphoning that without peaking. That's all right. It'll be fine. All right, let's talk about what my plan is then. Um, now that I've worked through that stuff, I hope, hopefully, I'm, I'm hearable and it's okay and it's better. I don't mean to be quiet, kind of you. <laughs> um, so my plan for chickens has always been to try and add them to um, this part of the animal farm. Uh, I, I don't want to add any more fires to this area because, goodness gracious, um, it's it, it already runs kind of poorly over here, which is kind of disappointing, but I don't want to really add any more um, stops for myself. So what I'm thinking is I want to get the eggs and stuff, or chickens, or whatever. I, I've never played with chickens, so probably what's going to be is whatever we end up with here is what we're going to end up with. Um, but they're probably gonna... Oh, oh. Good thing I ate. <laughs> um, but we'll add them up there. Not sure what's going on over there. Sounds like we're getting some neck meat that I will promptly cook, apparently. Um, so that's my plan. That's what we're going to do. So we need to get back up there and see uh, what it is that we need to make this work. But I think I'm going to need to run back to town and get some <laughs> perfect demonstration of how the chicks will fall. Absolutely, Whisper. Absolutely. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a beam in here. Close this up. Like so. And we'll open this side up too. Put a beam in here. Close that up like so. I don't think I need that. There. I don't want to like. I'm gonna like remove stuff and have half of the tower fall apart because I just don't remember slash know what's what. You guys know what's. You know what's up. You know what I'm saying. Um. So yeah, that's that's what I've got. Planned for this thing. Probably will only stream for maybe about an hour and a half. It's about the length of my tolerance these days. Um, so anyhow, how are you guys doing? How's everybody going? This fine... I think it's Saturday for everybody? I could be wrong though. How does that work? Is anybody on Sunday? Do I have a Sunday in the house yet? Or is it still Saturday? Or is it Friday for anybody? I really don't know how this works. Boodly boop 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 boop. Um, Artisan, I watched your video. Uh, and promptly forgot everything that I learned. Cause that's that's how I go. <laughs> Let's see. What else is it? Saturday here still. All right, good. <laughs> Captain Crumbs, it's Tuesday last week here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now what? Do -do -do -do. I guess I'll go get some wood. And we'll go get some chickens. Did you guys know? Last, last I saw... Um... You only need one chicken to lay eggs. You don't need two. So if if you're if you're if you're gonna buy chickens, uh, buy one, not two, and that'll save you some gold. Apparently, which means I can put one chicken on each side, um, and have one side be the. These will be the the eggs and. These will be the chickens. I don't know. Or it's just going to be a pile of eggs. I don't know. Come I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't know. Probably? <laughs> Artisan says if you figured out. Are you sure I will? Well, thanks, Artisan. 
Um, wood. We came here for wood. Hi, Billy. You need to eat? I don't have any raw meat up here for you, though. Sorry. Alright, let's grab just a couple chunks of wood. I think I need anything else. Let's see. Hi, Big Fat Snake. Welcome in. <laughs> We're rich and we don't care. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Let's head back. We have some wood. Um... What's this cart doing down here? Is this the new carty? Oh, oh. It just like wrecked the floor. Did you guys see that? 30 damage to the floor right there. That's better. Just needed to park that so it wouldn't explode. Um, let's see. Artisan says, don't need to spend anything on chickens nowadays. That is true. That is true. Cartifical damage, <laughs> whisper. <laughs> That's funny. Um, oh yeah, yeah, because, uh, like Adele says, um, because of the Hilder quests. Um, do you have to complete all of those? Because my, my impression of at least one of the challenges was that it was actually really difficult, and I don't think I could have done it solo. Um, at least not super well, anyways. I'm going to actually feed the boars. These are wolves. Um... So let's see. Yeah, let's get the let's get the boars going here. We got we need some boar meat for the uh, for the old farmheim here. So let's get this stuff rolling. I have carrots. Why is this so difficult to see? Okay, that's empty. That's not empty. Okay, you guys have carrots over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just enable auto feed. Uh, yep, that should be good. And we're good. So we should have some boars coming out soon. And that'll be great. Let's go back to work. Hi, MSG. Welcome in. How are you? What are you up to? Alright, Kongbyo just says, just need to do the tower? Yeah. Just, just, the, the just word is, uh, oh. I thought I had Loxes turned off for food, but I guess the Loxes are gonna, you guys are gonna get to see the Lox tower in action. I'm sure that'll be great. Alright. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. So what what do I keep hearing? Oh, I've got a lock that's on a rampage. Locks on a rampage. All right, so if I put chicken eggs in there, what will happen? Do the chickens need to be on a slant? Artisan, I swear, I, I forgot everything that I've seen. It's been a week, like legit, legit been a week. <laughs> um, Let's go get our eggs. Let's 
They like the eggs directly below them. Okay, yeah, then I'll be fine. How do we have four eggs? Hmm. Let's see here. I must have missed the... I must... I'm. Gosh, I must have missed a little bit of Erica's last stream. I mean, I know I did, because we were... I was going to physical therapy. Guys. Physical therapy this week? Ugh. I'm so sore. Cannot grow in stack. I think that makes sense. No. Scooch back. There we go. Or not back far enough. Ba doop ba doo. Doop ba doop ba doo. So, um, I don't need to leave these gaps in this floor then. Because what'll happen is they'll just blurp and then they'll blurble and then do ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo. Like that. <laughs> How long does it take for eggs to hatch? They will lay on the floors like this? So I need to get them to stay put, but also have a space for the egg to f 30 minutes? We got 30 minutes, all right. Hmm, all right, let's see what happens in 30 minutes. Um, so that I at least get some chickens to play with. I'll get the other, the other, the other ones up here too. Um, and then we'll go sleep. So I'm not going to force you guys to watch me play at night. <laughs> and then I'll break down some of these boats and stuff too. Because I've got so many boats out here. Hi, Dwayne. Welcome in. How are you? What do you got going on? I've got a lot of boats just chilling around. Convio says, I have so many boats. I do. I have so many boats. It's kind of ridiculous. It's like my, it's my new hammers. Day 2195. Thank you, everybody. Let's, uh, let's break some of these down. This is a little... A little ridiculous. Hey. This is my... This is... This isn't Fires of Industry 2. Right. Let's bonk it. Bonk, 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 bonk. There we go. Did I get my nails? Did I get my nails? Hello, nails. Hello? Where did they go? I'm carrying too much. What am I even carrying? For crying out loud. Oh, 
Well, look at this. There's a cart just chilling in here and everything. I mean, my goodness. I've got, like, just all the things. Just all the things. What else is that we might be responsible for one of those staying there too with your oh yeah 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 when we had my car when I when you guys joined me for my carousel tutorial yeah that's right yeah 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 actually that one I think is over in where I was planning on building like a dry dock um That was so much fun. Well, yeah, it, it was really fun. Thank you, guys. I, uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. We should do more of that. That was a lot of fun. I actually have quite a few of my Farmheim guests in uh, in chat right now. So, um, next week, next week's streams, I'm definitely planning a thing for you guys to come hang out. Um, and do some fun stuff. And that's yeah, Erica Conviel, too. That's everybody on Farmheim. Um, in addition, uh, if I'm tomorrow, I've got a Spotlight Sunday coming out. Um, and if your build is being featured, I haven't had a chance to hit you up in, in Discord, but if you, if you want to hang out with me um, in Discord, we'll talk about your build for a little bit and talk about everybody else's stuff. If not, that's cool, too. But um, that would be really cool if, if you could join me for that. All right, now that my brain has... Let's go through this portal. Oh no, was that a wolf pup that I just heard? Great. All right, so let's see here. I have more eggs. Yeah, I'm not super stoked about the fact that I hear wolf wolf things. Um thought I had that sound turned off. So I will have to look at that. So, I have two eggs going. So, if it says they're warm, are they hatching? I think that's what they mean. They're going to hatch. And it's going to take half an hour. So. Alright. Help me out. Um, you guys have been helping me a lot, actually. But uh, when the chickens hatch right here, um, they're going to wander around in this. But is this too big of a space then, Artisan? Like, I need to do I need to close this down so that they're not able to move as much? Is that what I was getting from what you said? Let me take my sweatshirt off. I'll be right back. Alright. Artisan says, I can have them wander, but they will lay the eggs up there. Yeah. And then stop. 
14 eggs slash chickens hens. Okay. So how do I get the egg to glitch through the floor? Then. Do, 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 do. Let me look at Artisan's video. Pull up the part where. Let's see. The trick is getting them to hover. Used a 45 degree roof. They've got to hover. Then a temporary floor above. Yeah. I think, I think in all honesty, I think I'm probably just going to leave them the way they are then. Because, um, I don't mind the idea of coming up. What? Happened there. Look at this. All my fences just like wrecked. Okay, we'll have to look at that. Let's go down there and fix the, uh, see what kind of a mess we've got to fix down here. Looks like a lox was on a rampage inside the um, pen here, so I probably need to fix this. I have, like, graphics and stuff turned down because this area really, really runs poorly. Get some. This is the original. Um, this was the original four tower. Hi, Erica. Welcome back for money, Aaron. Thanks for being here. We're just uh, cleaning up a mess over here. I left the original four tower, or at least parts of it. Um, at somebody. It looks like. It looks like a um, gray dwarf managed to get in the fence and a. Uh, Locks decided uh, to fix it for us. So this is what's left. I think I'll break the rest of this down so it doesn't just look like a pile of junk. Mm. No. Run around and fix the fence while we wait for um, chickens to hatch. Um, and then with with some more chickens, I'll be able to like experiment a little bit more. I think when chickens first got released, I played with them, but I think I sp I spawned them in myself on my um, server on my you know test world, and they spawned in as aggressive. So I never really did any testing with them except to watch chickens just run around and destroy things because that's what they did there's little wolf cubs down here screaming their little wolf cub faces off we've got some piggies oh erica we're, we're doing some uh we're doing some work down here Getting some piggies going. Um, and then I saw that you had grabbed a, a, another egg or two. It was another two eggs. So thank you. Boo doo boop. Let's see. I need this. Let's go break down some tree stump. So we got... I put them up there. Um... Because that's kind of what my plan for the, the lox tower was, was to have the loxes and the, then the chickens up top. And I'll play with it a little bit. Because I do, I kind of want the chickens to fall through um, and fall down so that they're running around down here. But I haven't, I haven't really tested with them yet. So I don't know if they're going to run out of the fence. It's just, we're all learning. We're learning together. 
It's a whole new world of just exploration. Chickens and stuff. Whoa. Let's see. Artisan says when they were initially added, the breeding behavior was different for chickens too. They patched it and broke your old breeder design. Oh. They will escape this fence? Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. You guys didn't know that you were signing up to watch me build a new fence, did you? Yeah, that's kind of why I was like, I want them out, but I also just want to leave them in here, because I really didn't want to make a massive McHugh large fence. <laughs> Erica, you're going to lurk while you sort out your groceries? Oh, right. Have a good lurk. Good luck sorting out your groceries. Do you guys say groceries or groceries? With the S or the C. Is this more wood? Okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Wood, 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 wood. Missing requirement. All right. I have no room in my inventory. Oh, because I have all this random stuff. Boop, boop, boop. Can I get rid of anything here? Can I build a chest? Yes, okay. Let's get down to business. There we go. I just got a bunch of stuff. Alright. Uh, what else says free range chickens? Yeah, that'd be. F I, I really want that. Like, I really want that. But uh, I gotta figure out how to do it. Maybe a small pen. Maybe we'll do a smaller pen. Hey, what are you guys doing out here, huh? Ugh. Who are you? Your stacks a lot. That's probably how you got out. Your second. Uh, didn't I just see these guys? This is weird. Boom. Let's see. Everybody says they're going to go under, yeah. Groceries, says Erica. Uh, Waddell says, don't try to say this, but you say that word in Afrikaan. But is that a compound word, Waddell? It looks like it's three words to me, maybe two. Uh, Whisper says that it's that in Norwegian. Mm, it's got my name in it, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Artisan says, it's shopping here. Bring in the shopping. Yeah, that makes sense. Kongville says, Loxpel got out somehow. Yeah, I don't know. let's... I guess, I guess this is going to be a Chase Down the Locks episode. Uh, uh, right. Great. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Go grab my saddle. One word? Oh, very nice. That's cool. Let's go find our saddle. You guys see that boat move around? Okay. That's fine, I guess. Alright. Yep. So we have quite a few little piggies. I just, I started this just uh started this when we were doing the stream. That's kind of a chill, just hanging out stream. Thanks guys for being here. I feel kind of low energy all of a sudden. What? Oh, yeah. There we go. I need some more of these. Hey, uh, Kung Beal. Um, here pretty soon, I'm going to ask... Uh, I'm going to have a spot that I need a bunch of uh, oak trees. Um, and I'll show you... 
that'll be for next week's um, event stream that I'll do next week. Boop, 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 ba -do. boop, boop, boop. Eat. Yeah, why was that eat command not working right? We'll have to look at that. Mm -hmm. Here's the broken fence part. So we'll fix this up real quick and then go rescue our... Um, for crying out loud. Elvia says it might be difficult. We don't know... You don't know, you, oh man, I don't have many oak seeds, seeds, you'll have to try and get some, okay, okay, yeah, that's, um, oak trees, when the, uh, when you chop them down, do they just have one, um, log portion, or do they break down into two log portions? I feel like I've seen, seen twos, but, um. I could be wrong. Okay, where was this at? Let's go get our loxes, bring them back in. Look at all of this stuff. that they, they came out here for deer. Look at all these deer. These loxes have just come out to massacre. I don't have enough for that deer trophy. Alright. Now I can pick up the deer trophy. Come on, lox pal. MSG says, up here in not-so-sunny Scotland, we say, you're getting the messages in. So you say you're getting the messages in instead of the shopping. Can I ask why? Because that's really interesting. Oh, I left my... Saddle over here. Yeah. Are you hearing music on the stream? Or just in my ear? Because it was a little loud. Sorry. I'm listening to music, yes. The answer to your question is yes, I'm listening to music. That was, it got a little loud, sorry. I'm so tired of my inventory being freaking full. And yeah, I'm actually kind of mad. Okay, let's go sleep. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to I'm going to get a drink. Let's go check on our Let's sleep. We'll check on our chickens. There's a lox that shot down the lox shoot. All right, everybody, grab a drink. Grab a drink. Grab a drink. I'll be right back.
All right. What are these Loxas doing? This is the most I've ever seen these things moving around. Like, straight up. You guys are just wrecking the place. Lox buddies over here, good. This is third who, like, knocked themselves out with a tree. I just don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Okay, so the logs, the oak trees will split into two chunks after they split into one. Let's break this log down so nobody else gets bonked by it. And then we'll go check on our chickens. Um... There we go. No, more wood? Oh my god. Get out of my way. Goodness gracious. There's deer hide out here. 50 stone? Why? What is all this stuff that's just, like, out here? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Let's see. MSG, no real reason. Just slang that started in Glasgow and Western Scotland and just spread over the years. That's really interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. I like that. That's really cool. My inventory's full again. Look at this just pile of crap. I still have to f fix that fence. And get the other locks in. And check the chickens. I've spent more time doing everything else this stream. <laughs> I don't even know if we have chickens yet. <laughs> Got some wolf cubs though. All right. Erica says, that's how you felt yesterday when Frank kept littering at your farm. Freaking Frank, man. Hey, look, we got some chickens. Chicken, chicken, chicken. You guys look so fluvy. Chickens. Begins. So cool. So cool. I'm so glad they added chickens to the game. That's really cool. I should have put a bed in there and broken it down so they had a little bit of hay or something to stand on. Maybe I'll work on that. I don't know. I'll experiment further. I don't want to make you guys watch me experiment for hours and I'll just get irritated and you guys will get irritated and why am I being shoved? Hey there! Another chicken! How did you get out? You just being an explorer. Oh, well, that's right. I've seen them hatch. I know they explode out of their eggs when they hatch. <laughs> That is still artist, and that is still my favorite, favorite video of all time right now. It is artisans short of all of the eggs hatching at once. That was freaking amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> MSG says locks just want to be free. Yeah, they just want to break free. Locks want to break free. They want to break free. They like to jump. Do they like to jump or do they like to just smush on each other's Like do they do they actually jump or is it or is it a is it a is it a game engine thing where they just kinda glitch through each other's
hitbox. Hmm. <laughs> Captain Crumb says, so that's what it is. The chicken jig. Did I see Captain Fossil in here earlier? Hang on. Because we've, we've missed each other the last couple streams, and then I had technical difficulties, and that was, like, way at the beginning. Yeah, Captain Fossil was in here. But I don't know, have you... That's all right. We, keep, we kept missing each other. All right. <laughs> Who has seniority? Ah, I don't know. How does that work? I think, uh, who was, who was here first? Whoever was here first, right? Is usually, so Captain Fossil has the, has the, has the con today. <laughs> we need a cap off. <laughs> Captain Crumb says, nah. We take turns. Cap, cap, captaining, captaining. Captain Fossil says, who is the oldest? Yeah, if we're going to go by, like, Star Trek rules, like, Star Trek time travel rules, like, whoever, like, came from the furthest time period. Here we go. All right, let's go rescue the rest of our locks. Now that we have chickens, they're going to sit there and... How long does it take for them to be um, chicken chickens? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying. Chickens. Instead of, like, uh, who who said that? Who said uh, MSG, that they're nuggets on legs? So when when do they go from being nuggets to chickens? Am I missing a locks out here? Outer guard? Way outer guard. Hello? I hear you. I just don't... There you are. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. Do locks jump? No. Ugh. There we go. Rock and roll. Can't see anything. I can't. Bro. Bro. Just, just, <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Whisper says 30 minutes or so to go from... So it takes an hour. That's a huge time investment. Do you get meat off of chickens? Off, off of nugget form? Or do you get meat off of just chicken form? Because my guess is that you only get meat off of like the chicken form. Alright. Erica says it's just the chickens. Wow, that's such a huge time investment. Okay. Um, an hour just to get meat off of a chicken. Plus the huge grind to get them. That's crazy. Is that a boar on the outside? No. Okay, good. There's a random necktail. Just chilling in the middle of the ground. Why? There is a boar on the outside. Well, you are the outer boar. Fix this fence up here. No, I said let's fix the fence up. That's worse. Oh, did you guys see that? This wolf reached across the fence and ate that gray dwarf. I don't think I've seen that before. Usually they get stuck. I'm doing this because I don't... I don't want... Right. They added snap points. Here we go. I probably didn't even need to do that, huh? Oh well. I'll look at chat here in a second. Mm -hmm. 
they want to break free. All right, let's see. Kongville says feathers off of nuggets. Meat and feathers off of hens. Okay. So at least... Okay, I was really worried I, when you said that you get feathers off of nuggets that you only get feathers off of them. <laughs> like like uh, like the the hens don't drop feathers, but good, I'm glad that they do. We do we're gonna need a ton of feathers too, huh? Oh, we're gonna need a ton of feathers, you guys. We need a ton of feathers. Um. Yeah. So to that end, um, I would like to. Uh, uh, what's the word? Not introduce. Never mind. We have a ton, a ton of birds. Oh, here, look, there's another one. Oh, no. All right. Um, there are a ton of birds over by the storage hub, and by the adventure hub, and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna set up some chests, and. You all are here. There's 13 of you. What kind of title? Let's 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 come up with a title. Um, a bird hunting title, kind of thing. What would be a good bird hunting title? And then uh, we'll we'll set up a nice little board or something that shows all the titles that we have handed out. So let's let's uh, let's come up with the first title that we'll hand out here on Farmheim. And this will be out to our guests and Farmheim buddies. Whoever whoever puts the most feathers in uh, chests that I set up will win that will win that title. And this is you know honor system whatever. It's whoever hunted the most feathers here on Farmheim, and then we'll uh, we'll give you a title. And then uh, anytime your name shows up in my stream, like on my on my on my computer stream, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll have your titles, your associated titles attached to them. So like, it's not like I'm not gonna do anything with it, it's just, uh, you know, it'll be a fun thing. So, uh, Captain Crumbs is gonna lurk. Captain Crumbs, were you just bumped down to Lieutenant? No, no. Um, so we are talking about who made their YouTube account oldest. Captain Crumb says their YouTube account is not even a year old. Wow. That's alright. You've got some cool stuff going on, so good job. In a year? That's pretty cool. That's a lot of fun. This account... It says it's from 2014, but this account has existed since um, the beginning of YouTube. It's just been rebranded a couple times. Just put a gate there. Why not? There we go. Alright, so we have a fancy gate that we can go through. There we go. Um... Artisan says, hens make meat guaranteed. The, ch the hens only get a one, like a 25% chance of meat from the chicks. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Alright. See how many we've got down here. Look at, look at, look at how many. This is so efficient. This is so good. I, um, I'm thinking about adding boars and wolves to all four pods upstairs, because if all of the pods are running, then that means, yeah, yeah, yeah well, it'd be even more efficient. Um, and if you ever have to clear this out, like, for example, if you're visiting, or if, or if you're Erica Kongville or whatever, and you have to clear it out, the easiest way to clear this place out is to, um... Once they're all adults and you're ready to do, ready to, to harvest, just open the door up here and stand at the top of the stairs with your butcher's knife, because um, they all come to you, and it's it's the saddest thing on the entire world. It makes me really sad, but uh, that's a thing. Anywho, 
Let's see. Artisan says Sparrowhawk. Ooh, for feather gathering? Okay, I like that. I like that. Captain Fossil, two captains, two ships. Yeah. <laughs> MSG, D Flight Meister. Ooh. That's fun. That's fun. I like those two. I like those two. What else we got? Here's another chunk of the fence that's broken. I don't have a... Hello. One of these over here. Yeah, dark, says Erica. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. I, um... Is this another broken tree, or did I not fix this? Goodness gracious. No, I think this is just another broken tree. Wow, look at all this stuff that these guys are breaking today. That was my fault. Oh. Okay. So I know I kind of said that I was going to build a chicken coop. Sorry that that's not what I'm doing. But you guys seem to be okay. There's a there's a few of you with me. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Artisan says they love playing abattoir. Abba... Abattoir. Pumps that nice go right up. Yeah, kind of. Oily Adventures? Hey there. Welcome in. How are you doing? What do you got going on? Good to see you. Is that Josh? By chance? Sorry if it's not. Um, but good to see you. What do you got going on? What do you got going on? Oh, increase, yeah, okay. Artisan, yeah, I'll, I'll let, I'll let you know. I will let you know. Um, I might issue a quest. <laughs> if that's okay. Um, Whisper says squirreling can happen to anybody. Yeah. Well, also, we have to wait an hour for chickens to hatch. I'm sorry, guys. I, if I had known that it was going to be an hour, I would have... I would have made other arrangements. There's some deer that have just spawned inside the paddock here. I feel like... I would have made a different spawn location choice. It looks like there's a neck just chilling back there. I like how these deer are literally running around, but like nothing, everything's just ignoring them. Except for this Lox. Lox pal, get him. Oh, oh, that was a, that was a bad choice. All right. We need to, uh, we need deer hide because I need to be able to fuel my boat obsession somehow, right? <laughs> All right. Very nice. Well, welcome in, Oily Josh. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Still trying to figure that hammer thing out. Hammer thing. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, well, no, Jorlaxel's not here. But, uh, hey, um, I, I kind of spaced on that. That's, that's, that's my bad. Um, you guys see how I have a level, level 10 hammer, um, that Jarlaxel made for me. Um, does anybody know how to do that? Can somebody tell me how to do that? There we go. You can only get it to level 4? Yeah. You assumed he spawned it in. But usually when people spawn stuff in, um, it doesn't have a crafted by doodad. Do you know what I mean? Like if I spawned in a hammer right now, it would just say hammer.
All right, let's go sleep. I feel like it's been... It's been a minute. Yeah. What was that? All right, let's sleep. All right, MSG says use easy spawner mod and you can set any level. Okay. And that works for gear. Okay, cool. Day 2,197. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Ah. All right, let's go upstairs. We're gonna have to feed. We're gonna have to clear these guys out here pretty soon, though. Probably won't do that on stream, though. Um, I'm like down to two frame rate. Two frame rate. Two frames. Ow. Hi right, guys. Still chickens. Pretty cool. I'm I'm so stoked. Thank you everybody for for joining us for that uh, Farmheim adventure that we did, um, where we ended up getting chickens and stuff. That was pretty fun. That was really fun. All right. So, what are the what are the risks associated with um, chicken farming? Is there is there a chance that I might lose the eggs and have to start over again, over again? Only if I get rid of all the chickens, right? If if I harvest them all, then yeah, that'll happen. I'm just trying to make sure that like they're not like consumable from the standpoint of like we're gonna have to like farm for them again. Sorry, I'm, I'm just really paranoid about losing losing some of these. Erica has some over at her place? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch the, the rest of um, yesterday's stream. Slash etc. I think it's going to turn into could lose them to bat raids. Yeah, I've had a couple bat raids here, and so far, they haven't... As long as I get... As long as I'm not up here, up here, the bats largely seem to just go down there um, when they spawn. So at least there's that. At least there's that. All right. Arson says it's best to keep some eggs in a safe chest, but once we have the breeding going, we end up with so many eggs, it's insane. Okay, good. Do the eggs auto loot, like as you run through them, or do you have to pick them up, like manually, one at a time? Okay. Have to pick each egg up, Whisper says. Okay. Artisan says, I've picked up hundreds of the darn things one at a time. That sounds... Not great. Sure are cute, though, with their little blobby bodies. Sorry, they're, like, facing the wrong way here. Chirp, chirp. 
That's fun. All right. Just waiting for him to grow up. I can't leave the area. <laughs> Whisper says the dino nuggies will dino nuggy. Yeah. It's fun. Um, Artisan says if I do get the breeding going, we'll probably need a fire downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Whee. Like down here, down here. Um, yeah, because ultimately the eggs will just kind of bloop down through here, and then, like you said, I'll need to I'll need to put a fire. Um, probably here. Probably another brazier, 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 Bra brazier. How do you? The one that's not a bra. Um, I'll put one of the, probably the standing ones, wherever it is. I'll put a standing one here, um, and that should heat them so that when they land out there, they're heated, and then they should hatch, and then just kind of wander off. Need to be covered to hatch. Wow, these things are so picky. Need to be covered to hatch. Alright. I mean, I guess I can fix that pretty easily. That'd be hilarious. It's a great idea. Now they'll be covered. So picky. Picky, picky, picky. Put this like this. That doesn't even touch the ground. Sandy? All right. Whisper says make a hanging one. Because Artisan says they will also jump into a standing brazier. Really? You guys. So not only, not only are these, these birds really, really, really picky, but they're also kind of like me, and they'll jump into the nearest fire. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, MSG says they have exacting requirements. Very nice. Well done. Um, Artisan says they like to ping, too. They don't slide down the 45-degree roofs. They ricochet. So what you're saying is they're just going to, like, bounce around in here. Got it. When I get this working. Even if they run up next to a standing brazier, they will catch fire, says Kungvil. The void calls, I guess. <laughs> Artisan says there's a reason dinos are extinct. They all jumped into the fire. <laughs> Blinko for bappy birds. That's funny. That's funny. Right, let's take this off of there. And we'll go see if we've got some chickens upstairs yet. Doesn't sound like it. Oh, locked myself out. Oh, we've got quite a few in here now. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it just landed on me. Hi, Christy. Welcome in. How are you doing? Good to see you. 
What are you got working on today? Having a good Saturday. It is Saturday, right? We've already had this conversation. Oh, there's still... Still chickening. Chick chickening. We are waiting on our little nuggets to grow up into hens so that I can try and figure out how to make a a tower for them here. Or at least turn this tower into a tower for them so that they can ricochet eggs down it. In the meantime, everybody take a, take a drink. Take a drink. I'll be right back. We got hens! We got hens! Uh, Christy says she's doing good. Taking a bit of a break. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Oh, Look at it. Alright, so I can pet them. Hen loves me. Very cool. Oh, I'm so excited. How about you guys? Your turn. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, says MSG. Yeah. Hey, Kivis. It's my tea that I've been neglecting this whole time. It's now cold. Hmm. Goodness. What did they eat? What did they eat? Uh, you know what? I've got a chest just below them. So the chest that the loxes are eating also has, I think, um, barley or flax or whatever in it. So they're eating out of the lox chest below. Because I am using the auto feed mod um, so that I don't have to just chuck food at my animals. <laughs> uh, Oily says, more like puff hens. Hey! <laughs> lox fleas. They're eating lox fleas. That's funny. That's funny, actually. Because they could be. They could totally be eating the little pests that are on the loxes, because we know for sure that... Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. Whee! Alright. Very cool. Uh, what else says? Barley, dandelion, tree seed, any seed. They'll eat any seed? Oh, come with you. Don't let them get next to any of your seed... Depositories. Especially if they eat oak oak seeds. Goodness. Um, Artisan says, if not auto feeding, the seeds are much easier to throw than the other foods. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll I might look at that. Um, especially for my um, hard mode playthrough. Um, it's wolf cubs just chilling. Okay, you're just chilling too. Oh, are you still following me? This wolf has been following me this whole time. Good job. <laughs> Captain Crumb says, You've had they had real chickens once. They ate everything and anything, including mouses and lizards. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. Chickens are chickens are straight up dinosaurs. They will like you put movement in front of them, they'll chomp that. Chompy chomp. Yeah. Little dinosaurs for sure. That's crazy. What kind of lizards, though? Like, big lizards? Because that's kind of scary. Um, let's see. Conville says, keep them away from you. Conville, you don't like chickens? Oh, because of your seats. Yeah, yeah, no. 
Uh, Christy says, my gaming sounds are freaking me out. Oh, I'm sorry, Christy. You know what? I'm kind of with you. I usually have them muted. Um, because because of the wolf sound, right? You, 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 you want to, like, look around and go, oh my gosh, I'm going to get eaten. But no, it's just this... This pile of stuff. Yeah, it's an awful sound. I usually have that sound muted. Um, let's see. Captain Crumb says, smaller lizards, like six centimeters long. Six centimeters long. That's a nitty bitty lizard. Oh yeah, I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> I could definitely see chickens having go with that. Artisan says, Stegosaurus. Not sure why, but Stegosaurus. Oh, we're naming dinosaurs? So we got Oily, Oily Josh that says raptors. Artisan says Stegosaurus. Kongville says the seeds, but yeah, he also doesn't like chickens. Bad memories from them in Cambodia. Well, sure, I could see that. I could see that. For sure. For sure. Let's get back to the top and see if our chickens have turned into chickens yet. Laid any eggs, maybe. Captain Crumb says, but yeah, I know of a guy who had chickens where the roosters killed the neighbor's cat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I believe it. Hey, we have an egg. We have... Looks like two eggs. That's exciting. I'm excited. That's cool. Yeah, we'll build up a we'll build up a supply of chickens up here. We'll build up our supply of chickens up here, and then once we have a decent number of them for me to experiment with, what I'll do is I'll open this up so that the eggs, like ping pong down there. Um, I might actually ask our subject matter expert on egg, uh, on on egg making stuff, on chicken spawners, um, artisan, for some help. Maybe at some point. Once we get to that point, um, I might have to ask for help because I may have reached my limit on that. Um, Kongbeal says, they are so loud through the night and you stepped in so much chicken poop. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I believe it. And they're loud at night? Weird. That, that, that kind of like tracks because they're animals, but I kind of figured they would have chilled at night. So that's crazy. I had no idea. Loud at all times of the day. Goodness. Pass. Erica says chickens no, no chill. Can't be able to really start at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. So like the absolute worst time. Like, when you're most vulnerable to being woken up by random scary noises outside, and now you've got chickens going, Ow. Yeah, that's terrible. Ow. Alright, so we're gonna let these guys grow a little bit, but uh it's been it's been a little over an hour twenty. I know it's it's a little bit of a shorter stream, but I think honestly I'm starting to hurt. Um I'm starting to hurt a lot. So I think I think now is probably a good time for me to call it for now. But tomorrow, be sure to check out um tomorrow for Spotlight Sunday. Same bat time, same or same mat time, same mat channel, right? So tomorrow, um we're gonna have Spotlight Sunday. Um, I'll go over three older submissions that um, were made, but it's really excited. Um, I'm really excited to get started back up in Spotlight Sundays as well. Um, sorry, I'm a little spacey. Um, thank you, everybody who who came for today. We have three eggs, two hens, two chickens. I'm so excited. This is the top of our Lox Tower. Our chickens will be safe. We'll be able to have um, we'll be able to have this stuff. 
So thank you guys so very much for being here. Um, be sure to check out my Farmheim buddies, Erica Kongville. Um, check me out tomorrow for Spotlight Sunday. Um, and in the meantime, take care. Be kind to yourself and everybody and everything around you. And we will see you in another video. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for being here. Bye.